Long known but still amazing is that a moving bicycle can balance itself. Most people think that balance follows from a gyroscopic effect of the spinning wheels. Well, around 1910, that's what Felix Klein of the Klein Bottle, Arnold Sommerfeld, nominated 81 times for the Nobel Prize, and Fritz Noether, the brother of Emmy Noether, thought. On the other hand, a famous paper from the 1970s by David Jones, published twice in Physics Today, claims bicycle stability is also because of something called trail, where trail is the distance the front wheel trails behind the steer axis, just like in a shopping cart where the contact is behind the support axis. Jones identified trail in the bicycle front wheel assembly and insisted that this trail was a necessary part of bicycle stability. We suspected that such simple images are missing at least part of the picture. To find the essence of bicycle self-balance, we looked at simpler and simpler dynamical models until we found a minimal, two-mass skate bicycle that theory told us should be self-stable. This bicycle has no gyroscopic effect due to counter-rotating wheels and no trail. Moreover, we built such a bicycle based on the theory to prove the point. The bicycle, that is, a frame, two wheels and a steering assembly, proves that self-stability cannot be explained in any simple words. Bicycles are not stable because of gyros, because you can make a self-stable bicycle without gyros. We did that. And they are not stable because of trail. You can take that away too. We did that. More positively, we have shown that the distribution of mass, especially the location of the center of mass of the front assembly, has a strong influence on bicycle stability. But so do gyros and trail. Why can a bicycle balance itself? Well, we have found one simple necessary condition for bicycle self-stability, which is that such a bicycle should turn into a fall. This is described in more detail in our paper published in Science Magazine April 15, 2011.